Hey guys, how's it going? If you were watching my Mobile Beat Chicagoland videos, you may have noticed that I picked up a new laser. And here it is. This is the X Laser X150G. Let me tell you a little bit about this laser. This is a green flat beam 50 milliwatt laser. Now, as many of you may know, as some of you may not know, if you have a laser over, I believe it's 4.9 milliwatts, it requires a variance from the United States government, if you live in the United States. Now, why is this? Well, I hate arbitrary laws, so I needed to know why. Uh, apparently, the reason why, a lot of it has to do with uh, just general safety. Uh, they want to know that you know how to use these lasers. Recently, in Russia, a bunch of people were blinded by lasers. It was in the news uh, at a nightclub. And, and also, it has to do with the uh, Patriot Act because apparently if you had a laser that was relatively high power compared to like a 4.9 such as a 50 milliwatt you could shine this into an airplane cockpit and blind the pilot it's like a, a you know terrorist prevention thing they just want to know who has these lasers and they want to make sure that you understand how to use these lasers and uh, uh, yeah so check it out how do you get a variance for a laser well, the first thing you need to do is buy a laser that's approved by the FDA. And you need to buy it from a company that has the certification from the FDA to build lasers. If you import a laser from China or even Europe, that's uh, very naughty because those lasers are not approved by the FDA. And you can't get a variance for it. And apparently, you can get a lot of trouble for it. It turns out to be a capital offense, believe it or not. Kind of crazy, but it's true. And we're talking about DJ lights here, which makes it even more insane, but uh, eh, there is a reason for it. So what you don't want to do with these lasers are shine them at people because there's radiation involved. They could hit people in the eyes. We talked about that. You don't want that to happen. So when you buy an X laser, you get a variance kit. You read through the material, you fill out the material, and you send it in. And usually within about a month, you get your certificate that says, okay, yeah, we know who you are, we've received your information, here's your variance. Uh, I have not received my variance yet, however, since I've applied for my variance through X-Laser, I can use this laser until I get my variance. It's totally cool. I understand the rules, I can use it. Uh, also, really important, again, I had mentioned, if you import a laser and it's not approved by the FDA, very naughty. This particular laser right here was built right here in the United States. I believe it was in Maryland. And again, approved by the FDA, so totally cool. So if you're looking for lasers, if you're looking for even dual, like green and red lasers that make little dots like maybe a star cluster type laser, check out xlaser.com, x-laser.com, and check out some of their products. I really like this one. I'm going to use it, not this weekend because I'm off this weekend, but I'm going to use it the weekend after next at a gig and I'm going to shine it at the ceiling or behind me or, or something and just show it off a little bit. But, uh, you know, in the meantime, while we're waiting for the variants to come through, I thought I'd just show you the laser down here in the dungeon. So, uh, check it out. Here's a quick look at the front of the laser. This hole right here is where the beam comes out, the laser beam. Right here we have a microphone. Next to that we have a mic LED. That flashes whenever a beat happens, when we're running it in sound active mode. And of course we have a power LED, shows when the laser is on. Here's the back of the laser, of course this is where you plug your power in. Here's the fan to keep the laser cool. We have DMX linking in and out, you can run these lasers master slave if you wish. Of course right here we have dip switches so you can set the laser however you want. It's a, I believe it's like a 7 or 8 channel DMX laser. And right here we have a sensitivity dial for when you are running the laser in sound active mode. Now let's go ahead and turn this thing on and show it off a little bit.